virtual class of Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai Education Department. I am Mrs. Sakshata Kale and today we will learn English. Okay, now let us move to the lesson. Subject is English of Standard 3rd and name of the lesson is The Two Merchants of Seri. You can see here the merchants. It is two merchants. Okay. Now first we will try to understand what is the meaning of merchant. Okay. See this. Merchants means see the picture. One. This is second picture. And this is third picture. I hope you understood the meaning of the merchant. Yes, correct. Merchant means a person who sells any articles or any materials. Okay, see here this is the first merchant. He is selling the fish and vegetables. Right? And see this. He is selling the jars, teapots, metal articles, correct? And this one is the fruit seller. He is also a merchant. He is also a merchant. Got this? Merchant means a person who sells the articles. Okay? Now, we are going to observe a story. Okay? of two merchants. This is Seri, a village. Once upon a time, in a place called Seri, there lived a merchant. He went from town to town selling pots and pans and other things made of brass and tin. Brass and tin are the metals. Okay. I will show you the things made from the brass and tin later. He travelled every day with another merchant who also sold brass and tinware. But this other man, this one, he was greedy. When he sold something, he sold it at very high price. But when he bought something, he tried to give as little as possible. Dear children, see this. These are called brass utensils. Okay. This is a metal utensils, correct? Named brass. See this. Copper utensils. These are made up of a metal called copper. These are tin utensils. One more metal called tin. Okay? When the two merchants went into a town, they divided the streets between them. Each one went up and down the streets he had chosen, calling tinware for sale, brass for sale. People came out to their doorsteps and bought or traded with them. Only after one merchant had finished his business on that street did the other one made his rounds there. Means one after the another they used to enter the street. Okay. If this first man is going in this street, then second will move in this street. Afterwards, they used to exchange the streets. Okay. In those days, people did not always use money to buy things. Sometimes, they exchanged things of the same value. See this dear children, this girl needs books and this man needs banana. So they are exchanging the 
objects she is giving banana and this man is giving the books to this girl like this they used to make the trade okay or business in one house there lived a poor old woman and her granddaughter the family had once been rich but now the only thing they had left of all their riches was a dish made of gold however the grandmother did not know it was a golden dish the dish stood on a shelf among the other pots and pans and was not often used now the greedy merchant passed this house calling buy my water jars buy my pans buy my tin ware the granddaughter said oh grandmother do buy something for me then the grandmother said my dear we are too poor to buy anything i have not anything to trade even grandmother see i have found this gold dish among other pots and pans on the shelf we don't ever use it can we trade this perhaps the merchant will take it and give us something nice for it the granddaughter told to her grandma the old woman called the merchant and showed him the dish saying will you take this sir and give the little girl here something for it the greedy man took the dish in his hands the greedy man scratched its side with a needle he came to know immediately that it was a golden dish but he wanted to get it for nothing from the old woman so he said what is this worth he threw that down and said what is this worth not even a copper coin and went away the crafty merchant was planning to come back after some time and buy the dish for a few copper coins as if doing a great favor to the old lady because he was very crafty man deceiver right dishonest man so he wanted to deceive that old lady after a while the honest merchant finished the rounds of his streets and entered the street where the old lady lived he passed the her house calling buy my water jars buy my tin ware buy my brass the little girl heard him he and begged her grandmother to see what this merchant would give for the dish my child said the grandmother the merchant who was just here threw the dish on the ground and went away i have nothing else to offer in trade but grandma said the girl this one looks pleasant ask him perhaps he will give us something for it then grandma said call him then and show it to him as soon as the merchant took the dish in his hand he knew it was of gold immediately he said this is a golden dish it is worth more than all my money and all my wares 
I'll bring enough money tomorrow and then buy it from you. The old woman was greatly surprised. She was impressed by the honest and goodness of the merchant. Take this dish and give me the money tomorrow, she said. The honest merchant kept all his wares and money with the old woman and took the dish. He left himself only enough money for the boat ride that he had to take on his way back. So honest person, right? So he gave all the wares and money that he had to the old lady. After some time, the greedy merchant went back to the house where he had seen the golden dish and said, Bring that dish to me and I will give you something for it. No, said the grandmother. You said the dish was worthless. But another honest merchant has paid a great price for it. So I gave it to him. You should not try to take advantage of the poor and needy people. What could be the greedy merchant say? He paid the price for his dishonesty and greed. Yes, this is all about our story, Two Merchants of Seri. Got this? Now we will move to the exercise part. Before that, we will go through some hard words. Okay? Crafty. What is the meaning of crafty? The second merchant was crafty. This one. What is the meaning of crafty? Yes. Cunning. Clever. But dishonest. Okay? Next is ways. What is the meaning of ways? W-A-R-E-S. Ways means, see these articles. Articles or things for sale. Yeah, in this lesson we gone through tin wares, brass wares, correct? Wares means articles or the things for sale. Okay? Copy the following words carefully. Here some words are there. You have to read them and you have to copy them in your notebook. And try to learn by heart. Okay? First one, E X C H A N G E D. Exchange. Exchange. Got this? Exchange means what? That we are exchanging pencil, pen. Exchange. Give one in exchange of another. Okay? Grand daughter. G R A N D. Grand. D A U G H T E R daughter together grand daughter poti I double M E D I A T E L Y immediately suddenly immediately बोलो तो अचानक suddenly okay E N O U G H enough. E N O U G H enough. Bus abhi. Bolte bus enough. D I S H O N E S T Y dishonesty. Dishonesty. Okay. Please try to write them. Write these words in the Notebook and try to learn by heart. Okay. Write the opposites of the following words. You have to write the opposites to the given words. 
first one is honest the opposite word is dishonest okay we have to add dis and rest all same so honest dishonest high the opposite word for high is low high low buy b u y buy khareedna opposite what is the answer here sell bechna correct khareedna buying selling bechna okay next poor the opposite is rich poor means garib rich means ameer okay see this once again we will go through honest opposite word dishonest high opposite low buy the opposite word is sell poor the opposite word is rich okay next one is everything sab kuch everything for this opposite word is nothing kuch nahi everything nothing okay ever e v e r ever opposite is never ever means hamesha never means kabhi nahi okay ever opposite never pleasant opposite word is unpleasant we have to add u n un okay then we get the opposite word for pleasant so pleasant the opposite word is unpleasant worthless the opposite word is worthy worthless कुछ काम का नहीं करेक्ट वर्थलेस ऑपोजिट वर्ड इज वर्दी डब्ल्यू ओ आर टी एच वाई वर्दी ओके नेक्स्ट फाइंड द नेम्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेटल्स फ्रॉम द लेसन यस दिस इज गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द नेम ऑफ द मेटल्स यस फर्स्ट वन इट बिगिन्स from b yes can you tell me we have gone through so many metals in this lesson we were selling brass vase tin vase copper vase isn't it like that b correct brass name of the metal is brass this is an alloy you will learn about this in higher standards okay T T for tin, tin vase, right? See this. This is a tin metal. Next G, gold. Very good. Metal gold begins with G. You are familiar with gold, isn't it? Your mother wears bangles of gold, right? Next one is C for copper very good see the copper ware okay good next thing is now write names of three more metals we have gone across four metals now we have to write three more names of the metals okay we will try silver yes chandi see these are silver wares silver glass silver plate silver spoon yes silver bowl can you see here that is silver chandi iron loha iron rods or iron bars 
to use for windows to construct the buildings right next metal is platinum this is very costly costlier than gold see the rings they are made up of platinum metal okay now dear children from this story we have learned some moral yes you know what we have learned from this story yes try to tell me first one be honest right second not to be greedy you know what happened to that second merchant because he was greedy and he was dishonest right so the moral of the story is be honest always and not to be greedy okay Thank you very much for being a part of this lesson. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the new updated videos.